Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Andre with GarageDoorGuidance.com. I've got a short video here for you today. Just want to do a quick guide on how to replace this entire trolley piece um, in case it broke or you know this guy ripped out the spring is no longer working for you. This part's bent or for whatever reason. Do a quick guide. It's a not a not a hard repair. Quick fix. I'd say take something like um, anywhere from five to twenty minutes depending on how skilled you are. Uh, personally this takes me something like maybe five ten minutes on average. Um, tools needed will be this uh, I use an impact half inch socket and a half inch wrench. First thing you're going to want to do as always just to keep from uh, getting hurt or anything, getting shocked, anything like that always want to unplug your operator like so, so we're good to go no chance of it opening on its own while you're working on it and uh, we'll go ahead and begin this video there you go let's adjust that so you can see exactly what I'm doing all right so first thing you want to unhook it from the header bracket let's touch the header Take that off. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it tends to make things a little easier. Just pull the pin out, and uh, you could just kind of move that away from the header. Now that you got that done, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, unscrew the trolley just so it's nice and loose, and you could proceed with the rest of your repair. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got a loose. Okay. You're going to want to bring it all the way out. Set that down. So now that that's loose, the chain will come come crashing down on you. That's not a big deal. Just set it down someplace or tie it up if you'd like. Make it a little easier on yourself. And uh, next we've got. flathead screwdriver so that you could pop off the uh, chain link in order to remove it and it's got like a little tiny let's see if it'll focus oh, there it is so just right there pop that in there you go it's off take that off Careful not to lo lose anything. Those are the parts there. Now your trolley is free. Next, just kind of, like I said, let the chain kind of just hang. I'll drop it. Now all you've got to do, unscrew these two half inch nut and bolts. That'll free up the rest of it for you to be able to slide the trolley piece out, slide the new one in. Reattach the chain, you're back in business. There you go. So like I said, this piece now free to slide completely out. There you go. Pop the new one back in. Reattach that piece. Bolts go on top. Not that it matters, but it just makes things a little... Well, it does matter, actually, because then if they were sticking up, they'd be protruding into the uh, chain. That would actually prevent chain for moving, so you do want to have them facing down. Tighten it 
tighten it back up. There you go about attaching the chain back into place. Wrap it around this little sprocket piece there. You grab this uh, chain link, goes through the bottom, uh, just like that. Little top cap, right there, and the clip back into place. There you go. Then you take the other end of the chain, you put the half inch washer, adjust the camera for you, pull that, pop that half inch back on in there, that's about it. This trolley piece can be ordered on uh, Amazon. I'll include a link to that for you. Um, it's the exact same process for a belt driven one. So you can do that as well. Um, literally the same thing, just takes a, this is a little bit different configuration, but it's the same concept. So you can do that on a belt drive if you choose. Um, also, uh, like I said, it's uh, typically on a lift master, you'll see this on a craftsman, access master, a chamberlain, and it's about the same process for all. And uh, like I said, the, the parts are all very similar. I've actually even used a chain drive trolley on a belt drive and vice versa. So the trolley piece itself is the same, and I'll include a link in the description there. You can also visit our website uh, if you've got questions, uh, or if you're looking just to browse through other garage door parts. You can also send us an email, we'll send you more information on this particular repair if you uh, need that, or a little guide, a little more guidance for you if you need it. Um, also, if you've got requests, you can send those there as well, or just leave a comment in the comment section. But uh, please like and share this video. Uh, I'd be happy if you subscribed as well, and uh, really hope you enjoyed the video, the tutorial. Give me a little thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, so be it. I won't be mad. <laughs> Just go ahead and do that. Uh, otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I hope this uh, video was informative, and I uh, hope it was uh, pretty easy to follow along, and uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching.